Well, hello again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Dry Docks, and you're watching Fast Attack. Setting up your ethos radio for a submarine. All right, this video is going to be pertaining to specifically for the X-18 radio, but it's going to be basically the same for any tandem dual band radio that is put out by FreeSky or is operating off of the uh, ethos operating system. I'm going to go ahead and power it up. It's going to yell Welcome at me. To ethos. Oh, Throttle not idle. So, many, safe, not set. Switch warning. So, so many bad things. Don't worry about it. Hit OK. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to hit system, access the system menu. We're going to go into general. And uh, I'm going to scroll down. And one thing that I like to do, you don't have to do this, but one thing I like to do, main volume. If you press and hold right here, it'll, uh, you can use a source. And this will allow you to uh, use a pot or a slider or something like that to control the volume because it can get annoying. So I'm just going to hit enter and it's going to ask you what you want to use. I'm going to put volume on S2. There we go. So you can hear quiet, loud, quiet. We want to scroll down to uh, 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 the digital voltage and digital RSSI. I like putting these in digital format. Um, you know, those bar graphs are very inaccurate. Now we can go about setting up our radio. We're gonna hit model, edit model. This is the uh, the one that came kind of preloaded, the test one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this one, uh, I'm just gonna call this one sub. So I'm gonna back, delete all of these and go S-U-B, because it's a sub. It's not an airplane, so I'm just going to take this off. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, the mode, model type, is other. Good. Now we're done. RF system. Now what we're going to do, <clears throat> we are uh, going to make sure that we're in TD mode because we're going to be using a, a tandem receiver. We're going to be using the internal antennas. So that's all cool. Power. Um, you know, let's, let's, I'm going to set this at like a hundred. Usually when you are just working on your submarine on the bench, I like keeping that at 10, but then sometimes you forget and then you don't, uh, you know, uh, change it and you get poor reception. So that would not be cool. Now what we need to do, is bind up our receiver and uh, in order to do that we're gonna grab our receiver here and uh, we're gonna go to register on this register. and it's gonna go register 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 I'm gonna hold down the register button and we're gonna plug power into any port register. auto detected look at that it's a TDR 10 cool register registration okay perfect now we need to bind it unplug Gonna click on the receiver. It says it's waiting. Options bind. bind. Now it's waiting for the receiver. Plug it in. There it is. TDR10. Bind. Okay. And now we get to set our mixes. Mixes are basically you telling the uh, radio what to do when you input something. So when you move this stick, what does it do? We're gonna hit plus because we got nothing in there. It's a free mix. And the first one that we are going to do, I'm gonna delete this. First one, I always like to do rudder. R-U-D-D-E-R. -E it's always on. Source is the right stick here, aileron. And we're gonna put that on output channel one. Would you like to name it? Yeah, channel one is now our rudder. That's it. You're done. You set your rudder up already. Good job. I'm going to add another one, a free mix in the first position. And this one on channel two is going to be our rear planes. Always on. Now, this is an override. So I kind of like putting this on the slider. On the side because usually the automatic pitch controller is doing the work all the time so we'll put that on the slider right channel two name it 
rear planes. We got it. We're done. Next one. Add. Free mix. First position. Delete, 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 delete. Throttle. T H R O T T L E. Always on. The source is the throttle stick, oddly enough. And we're going to put that on channel three. There we go. Now we need our ballast system. Add free mix. First position. Delete, 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 delete. B A L L A S T. Source, I like this switch. I like a three position switch. Nice big one, switch C. Into four. Name it, ballast. We got one more to do. Don't get excited. We got one more. First position. Delete, 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 delete. Now we need our forward planes. F, W, D, P, L, N, S. And this is gonna be the uh, right stick vertical. And we're gonna put that on channel five. Copy, done. So now, the, the kind of the cool thing, you can go to outputs here. Now you can see all of these sticks are, are moving the graphs. Do you see? Do, 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 do. Isn't that cool? You can assign any function to any switch that you want. That is the wonder and miracle that is this operating system. Now that that's done, I'm gonna, we're gonna do a little checklist modification. Did you see where that was? It's the second menu. So we just keep scrolling that way. Second menu, checklist. We want, so this doesn't yell at us. We want the throttle to be equal to zero. We want it centered before this radio will turn on. Fail safe, it does want, we do want the fail safe. And for switches, the only one we're worrying about right now is our ballast system. We don't want to turn it on and have the pump kick on, right? So that's switch C. So all these other ones, we can just go no check. Not, don't bother checking. But this one, switch C, we want to be in the middle position, which is off. Now we're just going to move no check for all the rest of these switches. Uh, function switches we don't need to worry about and the pots and sliders we don't need to worry about because we haven't done anything with them and it's not checking. You see, no check on all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. Now it's not gonna yell at us or if it does, it's for a good reason. Now we need to go to the model RF system and we're gonna set up our fail safe. Fail safe is not set so we want to custom Channel one or rudder, we want that to be in the middle. So we're gonna go custom zero. You see that? Perfect. Rear planes, we want to go up. So what you would do, you go custom, move over to the little shield icon. You see that right there? Move the planes into whatever the up position is. And then if you hit the shield button, it automatically sets that position. So now if it loses signal, it'll go to full rise on the planes rudder or sorry throttle custom we want it to go to zero we would hold the throttle cut cut the throttle ballast system custom we want to go up shield bloop there we go oops i didn't, I didn't finish got our ballast system now our forward planes custom full rise on the planes so we're gonna go full rise hit enter and there we go so now all those other ones are done. We're not using channels six through good bajillion. So now in the case of loss of signal, all of those positions that we set will automatically be gone to by the receiver. Doesn't need to talk to the, uh, to the transmitter. If you follow my instructions, you should in theory have the ability to drive and operate your boat. Now, if it just so happens that one of your servos is going in the wrong direction, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. Let's take a look. What you're gonna do is it go into the model, mixes, pick whichever one is going in the wrong directions. Let's 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 pretend your forward planes are going the wrong way. You go edit, and you scroll down to reverse. You see that? Look. And if you just toggle it, it reverses it. That's it. That is how easy it is. Now, what if, for example, um, you're uh, 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 you're overdriving it? 
right? What if, what if it's going too far? You can go into the weights and you can edit it and you can just go down to weight and this will reduce the, the, the throw. Do you see the little chart? So the end points are basically being reduced. So now if I go full on that stick, it'll basically only move the servo halfway. This is really useful, for example, if you have a really fast brushless motor in your uh, boat, then what you can do, you can go into your throttle and you can edit and then you can uh, 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 adjust the weight and you can cut the, the throttle down, right? So that uh, you, you kind of, you know, put a cap on the speed. So there's that. The other neat thing about this, you know, if your throttle's really, really, you know, touchy, um, what you can do, you can go into curve and you can go into expo and you can set an exponential rate. So now it'll take a little bit, you know, you got to move the stick and then the speed will start coming up. And then as you get near the edge, it'll be whoop, full speed. So that's fun to play with and super easy. And I know that may seem kind of like complicated and a lot of steps to do, but trust me, once you get the hang of this, it'll become addictive to tweak. Uh, and, and we haven't even gotten into sensors and telemetry and all the other cool things. So there you go. That's programming your first radio um, using the Ethos system and a tandem radio. The X14 twins are a little different. We may have to do a different video on that, but uh, for now, that X18 is one that I highly recommend. It gives you the touch screen, um, basically all the features that you need without getting into the $600 radios. This is really economical, not that much more than the X14. X18's the way you wanna go, trust me. With that, I'm gonna let you go. Again, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Dry Docks, and this has been Fast Attack.